the Lord is saying here. Now to this generation, do not be fearful. Don't have, fe- I mean, I mean, fear is natural. When people come to me and pastor, I'm so fearful of this, doing this, fearful of doing that. I do not want to go into that path. I do not want to go into this way. And I would say, you know, the only way, the antidote for your fear is to do whatever that you are fearful of. I just give you a simple example. When I asked, encouraged my wife to drive, she was so fearful. Hey, dear, go and take a license. She got a license somehow, but she don't want to drive. You know why? I was there all the time. Hey, dear, you drive lah. No need for me to drive, ma. But the Lord simply took me away to another direction where I have to leave home for some time. Hey, she got no way out. She has to drive. She was like shaking. Ooh. She was at the junction and about to cross and say, my whole leg and my whole body was shaking. Can you imagine? Those who have gone for a first time driving, you would know what the feeling is all about. But anyhow, I say, dear, go on. Don't be fearful. Just go on. Move on. Just cross the street. Don't be fearful. And she crossed the street. And she crossed and come to the other side. And she started to drive. And today, I'm not. I'm completely freed. I've been freed. Because she's driving for me now. Those days when I drive on the highway, she would say, dear, you're going too too fast. Make sure you check. Be be careful, you're driving too fast. But today I see her, she's enjoying a drive. Sometimes she will just overspeed. I say, dear, look at the the speedometer. Be careful. Hey, dear, I don't feel anything, you know. (laughs) Let me tell you, anything, if you, the moment you have fear, that's it. Fear. Fear is the opposite of faith. That's the reason why Jesus said, Why have you been so fearful? Why are you so afraid? That's the problem with this generation. They are so fearful. They are so fearful of trying something new. I'm not saying something that is wrong. Something that is you find it is right. So fearful of taking the risk. Can you think about that? I see. I'm so fearful. I'm so, I'm enjoying the comfort that I'm having now. It is okay for me. I do not want to come out of this cocoon and, and launch into something that is new. Let me encourage you. Think about, begin to think about, think about it. Think out of the box. Somebody said, when you look at a mountain, it's not that you command the mountain to be removed. But rather some people say that you need to scale the mountain. People want the mountain to be removed. But let me tell you, I want to scale the mountain. I want to go to the summit to reach the top. That's how you look at it. So, so you feel like, oh, you look at the mountain. It's so big and so huge. Oh, how am I going to scale the mountain? How am I going to climb? But let me tell you, if that is what the Lord wants you to do, begin to take the first step. 